Hello everyone, welcome back to Gyeongbuk English. Today, we will be going through the process of applying to renew or retire for Gyeongbuk guest English teachers. This video is divided into three main sections if you would like to skip ahead. The first section is for teachers who would like to renew their contract with the Gyeongbuk Office of Education. The second is for teachers who wish to reapply to EPIC in the hope of being placed in another province. The third is for teachers who will retire at the end of their current contract. This section is for teachers who would like to remain in Gyeongbuk. This includes staying in your current school or city, moving to a new school in your current city, or moving to a new city within Gyeongbuk province. First, complete the intent to renew application. Ensure to include the following information your current city and school name, your name and date of birth, and check the yes box to renew your contract. On this document, teachers can now express their location preferences. In other words, whether or not you would like to remain in your current school or city, or if you would like to move to another city within Gyeongbuk province. If you want to remain at your current school, write Yubo. If your school has not applied for a teacher for the following year, do not write Yubo as you will be unable to stay there. Double check with your main co-teacher before submitting the intent to renew document. If you don't want to stay at your current school, but would like to stay in the same city, write the city name. Please check this map when writing your location preferences. Only write the names you see on this map of Gyeongsambukdo. Teachers are given three placement choices. Please do not enter the same city for all three. If for any reason you cannot be placed in your first choice city, you will have lost the opportunity to express your preferences. Keep in mind that these are requests and as such are not guaranteed. The POE considers placement requests in addition to performance evaluation scores, school feedback and the availability of positions in the requested city. Write the date of the application and sign your name. In the second section, enter your current pay level and the desired pay level for the renewal contract period. Please check the pay scale here. Gyeongbuk teachers must complete two years at level one in the province before they qualify for level one plus. Complete the evaluation, add the date, then print and sign your name. When the intent to renew document has been completed, return to your co-teacher. This will be scanned and sent to the POE. During the review process, your intent to renew document will be cross-checked with the documents submitted by your co-teacher. The next stage of the renewal application will be completed by your co-teacher. In the renewal Excel file, details about you and your current contract will be entered. Application preferences will also be entered into the Excel file. If you want to remain at your current school, write Yubo. If you do not want to stay at your current school, but would like to remain in the same city, enter the city name. Schools also conduct a performance evaluation for all guest English teachers. Here you can see the criteria used by school faculty to review your performance. Guest English teachers are evaluated based on their English ability, teaching ability, attitude towards work, student evaluation and their overall health. A committee of teachers will meet to evaluate your performance and afterwards the results will be added to the renewal application. Guest English teachers require a score of 80 or more points to qualify for contract renewal with the Gyeongbuk Office of Education. 
those who receive a score of less than 80 points will not be eligible for contract renewal. In this case, your co-teacher will notify you that you have not passed the evaluation and will present you the opportunity to appeal. The following appeal document will be provided to you. Here, you can include details you feel may not have been considered during the evaluation process and any documentation to support these details. The committee will then meet for a second time to consider the appeal and evaluate whether the additional information has any impact on the evaluation score. You will be notified of the result before the official documents are submitted to the POE. In the final column, information about your visa type will be entered. All teachers should complete the self-evaluation form. This is a good opportunity to reflect on your teaching practice and suggest any changes you think could be made at your school. This tentative timeline provides an overview of the renewal process for each intake. When all applications have been received by the POE, a committee will be formed to review all applications. Placements will then be decided and announced. Approximately one to two months before the start of the new contract, the POE will hold a workshop and contract signing session. Here, you will be provided with some of the documents required for visa renewal with the Immigration Office. Teachers frequently ask about the contract bonuses, so here is a breakdown of what these are and when you can expect to receive them. Here is a timeline of bonuses for teachers. The entrance allowance would have been paid within one month of beginning the first contract. The contract completion bonus is typically paid within one month of completing the initial contract. For teachers renewing for the first time, the completion and renewal bonus is paid at the end of the second contract period. This section is for teachers who will reapply to EPIC. If you would like to continue working in public schools in South Korea, but no longer wish to work in Gyeongsangbuk-do, for example, you would like to move from Gyeongju to Seoul, then you must reapply to EPIC. As you will not be renewing your contract with the Gyeongbuk Office of Education, a retirement application should be submitted. Your co-teacher will complete the retirement Excel file containing details about you and your contract. Even if you do not wish to renew your contract in Gyeongbuk, your performance will still be evaluated. You will be assessed on your English ability, teaching ability, attitude towards work, student evaluation and your overall health. A committee of teachers will meet to evaluate your performance. This evaluation score will be kept on record and may impact future employment with the Gyeongbuk Office of Education or your EPIC application. After the committee has met, the results will be added to the retirement application along with visa expiry details and any requests for documents. During the retirement application, teachers can request the following documents. Proof of employment, transfer agreement and copies of the documents submitted during the initial EPIC application. Please note that requests for documents must be submitted officially through Gyeongbuk Work Portal by your co-teacher. The documents highlighted in red are only issued at the end of the contract term. I will now explain the differences between these documents. Proof of employment is issued by the POE. If you have worked at multiple schools, this document will list the name of each main school and the dates you worked there. It is written in both English and Korean and can be used outside of South Korea to prove your employment. Here is a sample of the proof of employment. Employment verification is a document that is issued by the individual school and proves you work there. It will not include information about any other schools you have worked at during the term of your employment. This must be requested directly from the school. Here is a sample of the employment verification. A letter of release is a document that allows another employer to take over existing sponsorship of your visa. Letters of release cannot be used outside of South Korea and cannot be used to prove your employment history. It is only issued after the contract has ended. 
If you terminate your contract before the agreed upon date, you cannot receive this document. If you apply to work in a hub one, your prospective employer may request you obtain this document as proof your visa sponsorship has ended and they can legally become your visa sponsor. Here is a sample of the letter of release. You can also request copies of the original documents submitted during your initial EPIC application. Please note that original documents are not returned. Only digital copies of documents are provided. You can request a copy of your criminal record check, university diploma, university transcripts, and your birth certificate if you are from the United Kingdom or Australia. It is important to note that EPIC does not accept digital copies submitted directly by applicants. Therefore, if you are applying to EPIC, when you receive the digital copies, please reply to the email with the name of the EPIC coordinator managing your application. Arrangements will be made to fax the documents directly from the POE. For recommendation letters, please request these from your co-teachers. Keep in mind that co-teachers are not obligated to provide references. Try to secure these and contact details if your co-teacher agrees to these being shared with employers before you leave your school. As Korean teachers are moved to new schools periodically, it can be difficult to obtain these after you have left. Note that the Gyeongsang Bukdo Office of Education cannot provide a letter of recommendation or character statements. Additional documents that you may require for reapplication to EPIC include your passport, the initial visa, residence card, employment contract, proof of English education depending on your home country, TEFL certificate and a certificate of entry and departure. Please refer to the official guidance provided by EPIC. Teachers frequently ask about the contract bonuses, so here is a breakdown of what these are and when you can expect to receive them. If you are a first year teacher, you will have received your entrance allowance within one month of beginning your contract. The contract completion bonus will be paid within one month of completing your contract. For those who have been teaching for two or more years, here is a timeline of bonuses. The entrance allowance will have been paid within one month of beginning your initial contract. The contract completion bonus for the initial contract will have been paid within one month of completing the first contract. The contract completion bonus and contract renewal allowance will be paid at the end of the second or subsequent contract. This section is for teachers who will leave Korea. A retirement application should be submitted to the POE. Your co-teacher will complete the retirement Excel file containing details about you and your current contract. Even if you will leave Korea, your performance will still be evaluated. You will be assessed based on your English ability, teaching ability, attitude towards work, student evaluation and overall health. Please note that evaluation scores will be kept on record and may be shared with prospective employers during employment verification. After the committee has met, the results will be added to the retirement application along with visa expiry details and any requests for documents. Within the retirement application, teachers can also request the following documents. A proof of employment, letter of release and copies of the documents submitted during their initial EPIC application. Please note that requests for documents must be submitted officially through Gyeongbuk Work Portal by your co-teacher. Documents highlighted in red are only issued at the end of the contract term. I will now explain the differences between these documents. Proof of employment is issued by the Gyeongbuk Office of Education. It lists all the main schools you worked at during your employment. It is written in English and Korean, and it can be used outside of Korea to prove your employment history. Here is a sample of the proof of employment document. Employment verification is a document issued by the individual school 
and proves you work there. It will not include information about any other schools you have worked at during your employment term. This document must be requested directly from the school. Here is a sample of employment verification. Employers outside of Korea may have their own employment verification documents. Please send these by email to Gyeongbuk PoE. The Gyeongbuk PoE can only confirm the following information. The name of any schools that you taught, the level of students taught, the number of hours taught per week, and the dates of your employment. Teachers can also request copies of documents submitted during their initial application to EPIC. Please note that original documents are not returned. Only digital copies of documents are provided via email. These include a criminal record check, university diploma, university transcripts and birth certificate if you are a UK or Australian citizen. For recommendation letters, please request these from your co-teachers in advance and keep in mind that co-teachers are not obligated to provide references. Do try to secure these and contact details of your co-teacher if they agree to these being shared with prospective employers before you leave Korea. As Korean teachers are moved to new schools periodically, it can be difficult to obtain these after you have left. Note that the Gyeongbuk Office of Education cannot provide letters of recommendation or character statements. I will now guide you through a retirement checklist. Be sure to request any copies of your documents from the POE, salary statements from your school and tax documents from the National Tax Service. These should be obtained before leaving Korea. Letters of recommendation and contact information for references should also be obtained before leaving. You're also responsible for settling any accounts, including phone and internet, utilities, maintenance fees, tax and national health premiums. Be diligent with all financial matters and check that you have received the correct amount for renewal allowance, completion allowance, your severance and pension lump sum if you qualify. Teachers frequently ask about the contract bonuses, so here is a breakdown of what these are and when you can expect to receive them. Please note that all bonuses are paid at the end of the contract period. If this is your first year of teaching, the entrance allowance would have been paid within one month of beginning the contract. The contract completion bonus will be paid one month after completing your contract. For teachers currently on their second or subsequent contract, the entrance allowance will have been paid at the beginning of the first contract and the contract completion bonus paid at the end of the initial contract. Your contract completion bonus and renewal allowance will be paid at the end of your second or subsequent contract. Some teachers, depending on their nationality, are entitled to a lump sum refund of the pension contributions. Please check with the National Pension Service to see if you qualify. To claim a lump sum, you should apply one month before departure. The following documents are required for your application. Your resident card, passport, flight confirmation and bank details. If you request the money to be paid into your Korean bank account, it is recommended that you renew your mobile banking certificate so that you can easily access your account from overseas. This will also be helpful for your school paying your contract completion and renewal allowance as well as your severance at the end of your contract. And that's how you apply to renew your contract or retire from the Gyeongbuk Office of Education. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for more helpful videos.